Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here. In today's problem video, we're going to talk about macOS Big Sur 11.0.1 Release Candidate 2 Full Installer Issue. This is for T2 systems attempting a full install, an erase install, or an upgrade from Catalina. I'm going to go over the entire issue and then I'm going to show you a workaround in the end. Let's jump in and get started. Lately, after Big Sur 11.01 Release Candidate 2 was released to the public, we started to see people reporting that they were having install problems. This is anybody that has a T2 Mac that needs their bridge OS updated from an upgrade from Catalina to Big Sur. If you had a previous version of Big Sur and you were jumping to RC2 or you were using StartOS install, any of these things that use the full installer app would cause this problem. And this is what you would see, this error message right here. An error has occurred installing Mac OS. You can try again to complete the installation. And, that, and that's gonna keep happening. You can try again all you want. It's not gonna go anywhere. And the reason is inside the installer, the catalog URL to tell where to get the bridge os update was changed to the production url and i'll show you what that looks like this is the new production url for the software update catalog index-11-1015 if you go out there this is what the installer is calling and saying hey i need a bridge os update the problem is it's not there it's actually in the beta url so let's take a look at that real quick here this is software update inspector and this is what the that new dash 11 url will look like there's no bridge os update for rc2 at all so if we zoom in here you can see that all that's available is 10.15.7. The problem is it won't be available till tomorrow. Once they publish it to the catalog, we're not gonna have any problems, but you're not gonna be installing RC2 tomorrow anyway. You're probably gonna be installing production. So let's zoom out and I'll show you what the beta software update server looks like. And look, there's our bridge OS update that we need. What do we, what do we see in the log when this happens? This is the long log that you'll see in var log install log telling you the root of the problem. So let's get down here and I'll show you the, the root. And this is the line that we need to concentrate on. The bridge OS update does not satisfy the given minimum version requirement. And that is 17.16.10. What you need to be able to install this is 12.561. And it's saying that that is not available in this catalog server. What can we do to get that fixed? Is a fellow Mac admin figure this out is that we need to change the software update URL in NVRAM. So I'll show you how to do that. NVRAM sets everything in that, that, or you can call that PRAM. So like when you say reset the PRAM, these are the boot arguments that are we're talking about here. So we're actually gonna set, set the catalog URL in NVRAM to point directly to the previous beta server with the our software update catalog with the needed bridge os update what is the command that we need to do sudo mvram i a s u catalog url equals the one that has the the bridge os update that we need and you can use sudo.mvram to print those settings so let's take a look at that we can look at the settings here and i've got a terminal window so we can look at that for you and it's going to print all the settings that are set on this device here it's going to include like uh, stuff about your startup chime and your and your uh, volume and all that kind of jazz. So let's add this and I'll show you what that looks like. Let's run this command so you can see what that's going to look like on your machine. And there we go. It's set. So let's check it again and see if we can see it. We'll do a sudo mvram p to print and we'll scroll up and we should be. And there it is. Look at that. We've now got the URL in MVRAM. So when it goes to check that, it's gonna send it to the proper one with the bridge OS update that we need. Now, the important piece here is that after you do the upgrade and this fixes it, you gotta take that software update catalog off because when version 11.2 comes out, that update catalog is gonna change and you're not gonna be able to get the proper updates you need unless you reset the PRAM or remove that option. So let's do that. Let's run the command MVRAM delete the ISU catalog URL command. So let's run that. And that's gone. Let's run the print to show all the options. And as you can see here, when we scroll up, it's gone. That's all you gotta do. Real quick, I wanna do a huge shout out to all the Mac admins that worked on this issue in the in the Mac admin Slack chat. I wasn't even I wasn't even online when everybody jumped in and figured this out. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. But I want also wanted to share with all the people that worked together to get this information together when they jumped into logs to try to figure this out. Golby, Eric, 
Owen, Dave, MacMule, Matt, Dietz, all these people work together to spread the information out to everybody to get this issue fixed. And like I said, it's going to be fixed tomorrow when we get the production version of Big Sur, and I'll be back with you tomorrow in the next video to go over all the new things about the production version of Big Sur. It's going to be a celebration. We'll catch you on that video. See you later.